I'm here with head men's basketball coach Blake Mellinger. Coach, uh, just to talk briefly about the Newberry game, it kind of came down to that one or two possessions we talked about um, and had previously had with that matchup. But I came out defensively, you had nine steals season high in the game. Um, you were able to shoot 44% from the field. So just talk about your takeaways from um, your team's performance against Newberry. Yeah, I mean, I quite honestly, I thought we played really well. I thought we did a lot of things right. We just, you know, we needed to make one more play there in the, in the last two or three minutes of the game. I thought we defended well. We were really active in our zone. Offensively, I thought we were patient and got good shots on the offensive end. We just, we had some open looks there in the last couple of minutes that are good shots in our offense. They just didn't go down for us. And I think that made the difference. And then um, from Newberry's standpoint, uh, uh, we were able to hold them to 36% shooting from the field in the first half and also just 15% from three point range in the first half. So what did you see at least defensively from your guys that you felt kind of helped that shooting percentage for, um, for Newberry? I think really just the activity of our zone, you know, that along with, you know, to have nine steals that, that, that kind of tells me that we were, we were pretty active. We were flying around. I thought we did a decent job on the, um, on the boards keeping them off the offensive glass. So I think that gave us a chance. I thought they got a little, uh, a few too many easy ones in the second half, but overall I thought we defended pretty well. And Cam and Briggs, two of your juniors veterans on the team have remained very consistent, especially in this 2021 um, portion of this schedule. But just to talk about off the bench had over 20 points um, from guys like Bradley Dean. He had a season high, Ben Bryson, Joseph Keenan getting more minutes um, and getting more field goal attempts also. So just kind of talk about what you've seen from your bench stepping up. Yeah, those guys are really coming along. I think they're just, you know, they're we're midway through the season now. They're getting comfortable. The, uh, they're kind of over those, um, you know, those freshman growing pains that you kind of go through in your, you know, your first six or eight games of, of your freshman year of college. And, you know, they're playing with confidence, which I think is a big thing. So I, I only expect that to, to continue, hopefully. And then we face Limestone um, next Saturday and they're new to the league. So just knowing what you know about this team, they've got three guys scoring in double figures um, so far this season. Uh, so just what you know from about this team, what's your approach to Saturday's matchup? Yeah, I really think that's, it's quite honestly, I think it's more about us. You know, we have to do the things we talk about all the time. We have to defend and rebound. And then on the offensive end, we have to execute and take good shots. And if, I think if we do that, you know, we'll, we'll put ourselves in position. I think it's going to be another, Another game like Newberry, you know, it's going to be one or two possessions coming down the stretch. So we've got to, you know, we've got to find a way to make plays in the last two or three minutes of the game. You know, their their record's kind of deceiving. They've they've lost some close games. I think their Newberry game was similar to ours. You know, one or two possessions. They lost to Mars Hill on uh, I think Monday by five or six. So it, it's just going to be another you know hard fought conference game, and whoever can make you know, make plays in the last two or three minutes will win. And the Cavaliers will travel to Limestone tomorrow for a 4.30 p.m. tip off. Fans can listen on WLSD Radio 92.5 FM. Thanks, Coach, and good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Elise.